Chapter 1 Introduction to Sculpting Sculpting is one of the oldest forms of art that has been around for centuries. It involves the use of different materials such as stone, wood, metal, and clay to create three-dimensional objects. The sculptures that result from this craft are beautiful works of art that have been admired and cherished by people from all walks of life. The first step in sculpting is understanding the material being used. Each material has its unique properties and challenges, and the artist must choose the right one based on the final sculpture they have in mind. For instance, stone is a popular material used for large sculptures due to its durable and sturdy nature. Wood is also popular and great for sculptors who want a material that can be easily manipulated. The process of sculpting begins by creating a model or sketch of the sculpture, followed by carving or modeling the material to match the design. Carving involves removing sections from the material to create the desired form, while modeling involves shaping the material using hands or a tool. The artist might also use a combination of the two techniques to create intricate details on their sculpture. One great thing about sculpting is the wide variety of techniques and styles that artists can experiment with. From abstract art to realistic depictions, the possibilities are endless. Sculpting is also versatile enough to be used for anything from small figurines to large statues and everything in between. The choice of material also plays a significant role in the final sculpture produced. Stone is hard and durable making it ideal for large outdoor sculptures that need to withstand the elements. Metal is another great option, and its malleability allows for intricate details and unique shapes. Clay is perfect for small sculptures or those who prefer a more malleable material that is easy to shape. In conclusion, sculpting is a beautiful art form that has its roots deep in history. It is a process that involves a deep understanding of the various materials and techniques involved. With the proper tools, skills, and patience, anyone can learn the art of sculpting and create beautiful pieces of art that stand the test of time. So, pick up your chisel and mallet and start sculpting today. Question, what is sculpture? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Tools and Materials for Sculpting Tools and materials for sculpting are crucial aspects when creating a sculpture. With a diverse range of materials such as stone, wood, metal, and clay, an artist has to select the perfect one, depending on the final sculpt they aim to create. Similarly, selecting the right tool is essential for carving and modeling a material to achieve the desired design. Johnny, a young artist, discovered his love for sculpting during his early years. He admired the creativity and patience that went into sculpting. His first selection was a piece of wood, which he found in his backyard. Johnny's enthusiasm led him to the hardware store, where he purchased a set of sculpting tools. It included chisels, hammers, rasps, saws, and drills. Each tool has its own unique use in sculpting. For instance, a chisel is used for removing large sections from a material, while a rasp is perfect for detailing and refining the surfaces. Johnny's first attempt was to create a bare figurine from his piece of wood using a set of chisels. He had watched several videos on the internet and thought he could figure it out. Sitting in his garage, he placed the wood on his workbench, picked up a chisel, and began to carve. As he chiseled away at the wood, he noticed that the chisel wasn't as precise as he had hoped. There were only a few shapes he could create with the chisel, and going any further might result in unwanted cracks and chips. With a new plan, Johnny went back to the hardware store and purchased a set of rasps. He found the rasps easier to use than the chisels, and their shape allowed him to create more intricate details. Johnny used them to refine the surface and add depth to the features of the bare figurine he was creating. Johnny still had a lot to learn and decided to experiment with different materials. He found clay to be the easiest material to model. 
His fingers became his primary tool. Clay is a versatile material that allows for easy modeling, and minor adjustments can be made with small tools such as toothpicks or spatulas. Johnny began to mold the clay as he imagined. Slowly, he modeled a bear on all fours with a raised paw. The process was more manageable, and the outcome was spectacular. He was ecstatic. Johnny was learning a lot about different tools and materials. He went to a workshop to learn how to cast and mold sculptures in plaster. Here again, he learned new techniques, and his ideas began to morph and expand. Sculpting, he realized, was not an easy task. It was a careful process that required patience and attention to detail. But even as he came to appreciate the intricacy of the process, he continued to marvel at the possibilities. In conclusion, sculpting is a beautiful art that requires the right tools and materials. Chisels, hammers, rasps, saws, and drills are vital tools needed, depending on the type of sculpt, while clay, stone, wood, metal, and plaster are the perfect materials to work with. Johnny had discovered his talent and passion for sculpting and was on a path of exploration and creativity. Question, what tools do sculptors use? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Techniques for Sculpting. In the art world, sculpting is considered one of the most intricate forms of artistic expression. It requires a combination of talent, creativity, and a deep understanding of the sculpting techniques and methods. Sculptors use various techniques such as carving, modeling, casting, assembling, texture, depth, and effects to create their sculptures. For young artist Johnny, sculpting was a skill he was passionate about mastering. He was fascinated by the various techniques used in sculpting and was eager to learn and explore. Johnny began his sculpting journey with simple clay models, but quickly progressed to sculpting larger pieces in different mediums such as wood, stone, and metal. One of the essential sculpting techniques is carving. It involves removing excess material from a piece to create a desired shape. Johnny found carving to be challenging, but he was determined to master it. He experimented with different tools such as chisels, knives, and gouges to achieve the perfect carved shape. Modeling is another sculpting technique that Johnny became proficient in. He used his hands to shape the material and bring his ideas to life. He found modeling to be an excellent alternative to carving since he could create more intricate designs in the material. He would add details, texture, and depth to the sculpture by pressing, folding, and shaping the material with his hands. Casting is a technique in which Johnny would create a replica of a sculpture in plaster, metal, or any other material. He would first create the sculpture in a less expensive material such as clay to achieve the desired form. He would then create a mold of the sculpture and fill it with the intended material. This method allowed Johnny to recreate multiple sculptures from a single design, saving time and material. Assembling is another sculpting technique that Johnny used, especially for large sculptures. He would create smaller pieces and then assemble them to create a complete sculpture. This technique allowed Johnny to create more bulky sculptures that would have been challenging to achieve from a single material. Texture and depth are critical elements in sculpting. Johnny experimented with different textures and depth effects to create captivating sculptures. He used various materials like sandpaper, wire brushes, and chisels to create textures, and different depths were created through carving, modeling, and casting. In conclusion, sculpting requires the mastery of various techniques such as carving, modeling, casting, assembling, texture, depth, and effects. These methods allow the sculptor to create stunning sculptures that captivate the viewer's imagination. As an artist, Johnny was passionate about mastering these techniques and creating sculptures that communicated his vision. Sculpting was a form of self-expression for Johnny, 
and each sculpture he created was a reflection of his creative ideas and talent. Question, what are some techniques for sculpting? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, History of Sculpture Sculpture has a long and fascinating history. From the prehistoric era to modern times, people have been creating sculptures in various forms and styles. Stone carvings were among the earliest forms of sculpture, created by prehistoric cultures around the world. As time went on, new materials and techniques were developed, which allowed for even more diverse and intricate sculptures. Steel sculptures, for example, have become increasingly popular in recent times, offering a sleek and modern look. Throughout history, different cultures and styles have influenced the development of sculpture. The ancient Greeks, for example, were known for their realistic and anatomically correct sculptures, while the Egyptians created massive, grandiose works of art. Styles have come and gone over time, with each era leaving its own unique mark on the art form. One of the most interesting aspects of the history of sculpture is the development of techniques. From clay modeling to casting to assembling, sculptors have always been looking for innovative ways to create their art. This drive for innovation has led to some of the most incredible and awe-inspiring works of sculpture ever created. At the same time, the history of sculpture has also been influenced by historical events. During the Renaissance, for instance, a renewed interest in classical Greek and Roman art led to a surge in artistic activity across Europe. This era of intellectual and artistic rebirth saw the development of some of the most iconic sculptures in history, such as Michelangelo's David and Rodin's The Thinker. As the art of sculpture has continued to evolve through the centuries, so too have the possibilities and opportunities afforded to sculptors. With new technology and materials constantly being developed, the possibilities for what can be created are endless. Whether looking at the earliest stone carvings or the latest works by contemporary artists, the history of sculpture is a testament to the enduring power of human creativity and ingenuity. Through it all, artists have continued to find new ways to express themselves and push the boundaries of what is possible. And as long as there are artists, there will be new sculptures waiting to be created, each one a unique expression of the human spirit. Question, what is the history of sculpture? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Famous Sculptors and Sculptures In the world of art, few names are as famous and well-respected as Michelangelo, August Rodin, and Gian Lorenzo Bernini. These three notables are widely regarded as some of the greatest sculptors of all time, each leaving their own unique mark on the art form. Michelangelo is perhaps best known for his masterpiece, The Statue of David. This massive, 17-foot-tall marble sculpture depicts a young David, slingshot in hand, poised to take down the giant Goliath. The work is notable for its incredible detail, including the intricate musculature of David's body and the finely crafted features of his face. Michelangelo completed the sculpture when he was just 29 years old, and it has since become one of the most iconic works of art in the world. Another famous work of sculpture is Rodin's The Thinker. This bronze statue depicts a muscular man deep in thought, his brow furrowed as he contemplates the weighty issues of the human condition. The work is notable for its incredible realism, from the exacting folds of the man's clothing to the carefully rendered creases in his skin. The sculpture has become a symbol of intellectualism and has been reproduced in countless forms throughout the years. Gian Lorenzo Bernini was another artist who left a lasting mark on the world of sculpture. His works were known for their incredible fluidity and sense of motion, as well as their dynamic sense of drama. One of his most famous works is The Ecstasy of St. Teresa, a marble sculpture that depicts the moment of religious ecstasy experienced by St. Teresa of Avila. The work is notable for its incredible drama, 
with the saint appearing to melt into the arms of an angel as she is overtaken by a divine presence. Of course, these three artists are just a few examples of the many famous sculptors who have left their mark on the world of art. Other notable sculptures include the Venus de Milo, an ancient Greek work depicting the goddess of love, and the Pieta, another of Michelangelo's masterpieces depicting the Virgin Mary holding the body of Christ. Each of these famous sculptures tells a story and captures a moment in time, offering us a glimpse into the minds and creative processes of some of the greatest artists who have ever lived. They remind us of the incredible power of the human imagination and the enduring beauty that can be created through art. And as long as there are artists who continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, we can be sure that the world of sculpture will continue to evolve and inspire us for generations to come. Question, who are some famous sculptors? Check the video description for...